Mario Luis. Uh, I know that's not how it's spelled, but that's how I pronounce it now. <laughs> Do you think there is a problem with how Western sources portray Islam in regards to Sunni Islam being depicted as default and mostly ignoring Shia Islam? I mean, they are the majority. Mm -hmm. And it was very interesting to me because I grew up thinking Shia Islam was the default. <laughs> <laughs> so like that was felt like I thought Shia Islam was the default and Sunni Islam was those other Muslims. But then I when I you know, but then I realized like, oh my god, the whole world sees it the other way around. <laughs> so it was amazing. Um I mean technically, hmm, technically it's accurate that the default Islam is Sunni Islam and Shias were like an offshoot, wasn't it? Isn't it? Isn't that how it is? Uh, historically, that's how it has been. Yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah. Both, I don't both know. in I, terms I, I, of num both in terms of numbers, and in terms of historically, um, you know, we had like the Umayyad dynasty, and then we had the Abbasid dynasty, and the Shias weren't even like a different religion; they were just a different political movement mm -hmm. that eventually turned into a religion after. Like when we had the Fatimiyun in Egypt as a Shia, and then we didn't. After that, we didn't have any ser serious, you know, Shia government for a while until the Safavid Empire came about, right? So yeah, I think like the Western sources are portraying it maybe somewhat correctly, <laughs> yeah, if they're doing it. So I don't know. What do you think? Um, I mean, it kind of makes sense because in many ways, Sunni Islam is more consistent. There's like so ouch. Many <laughs> there's like so many shirky things like let's be honest yeah. like when people are like oh the she is in the shirk like they got a point <laughs> so okay. i think that has part of it part of it as well you just lost all your shia cred and i i mean i personally find it more interesting mm. but uh <laughs> i do think yeah there's there like straight up there is a lot of deviation in shia islam like the whole construction yeah. of like marjas and emulation. It's like, oh, huh? Okay. Um, <laughs> hey guys, if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy Callie, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today and we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week so make sure to subscribe link in the description below